Good day everyone, this is Miss Ines. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the periodic table. We're going to study the periodic table and I'm going to share to you uh, four important points that you're going to consider whenever you're going to study the periodic table. So these are the symbol of elements, the trends in the periodic table, the arrangement of elements, and the groupings of the elements in the periodic table. Okay, so the first one that we're going to discuss is the symbol of elements. Now this symbol uh, would represent every atom in the periodic table, or it is also considered as the abbreviation of the elements in the periodic table. It is written in a capital letter, uh, and uh, if it has two letters as the symbol, the second letter will be a small letter. Okay, now together with the symbol of the elements, it has also the atomic number, atomic mass, the electron configuration, the valence, the characteristics of uh, the element, the structure, and the state of the element. Okay, so we could see all of this together with the symbol of the elements in the periodic table. The next one is the periodic table trends. Now there are six trends in the periodic table. These are the ionization energy, electron affinity, electronegativity, non-metallic property, the metallic property, and the atomic radius. Now with all of these trends, there are only two trends that has an increasing property from right to left, from top to bottom. And these are the atomic radius and the metallic property okay the next is we're going to discuss about the uh, arrangement of the elements in the periodic table now it's very easy to locate the elements in the periodic table if uh, you know their atomic uh, number okay so if you have the atomic number you can easily locate the elements in the periodic table since the elements in the periodic table are arranged according to the increasing atomic number. Before, the arrangement of the elements in the periodic table was based on the increasing atomic mass. Uh, it was presented by Demetri Mendeleev. Now we're down to the last one, which is the groupings of the elements in the periodic table. So we have the family, the period, the metal or the non-metal, and the block. Okay, so the family is the vertical arrangement of the elements in the periodic table. The family also would affect the valence of every atom. Therefore, every family would have the same uh, valence electrons. And the same with the electronegativity of the elements. It also tells on the number of electrons gained or lost. Okay, so therefore, all the uh, elements in the same family would have the same number of electrons lost or gained. Okay, next is the period. The period is the horizontal arrangement of the elements in the periodic table. Then we have the metals and the non-metals. Now, the metals and the non-metals are separated by a zigzag line. The elements along with this zigzag line are known as the metalloids. They have the characteristics similar to metals or non-metals. And these metalloids are also known as the semi-metals. Then we have the block. All that belongs to family 1 and 2 are the S block. Okay, so then we have all the lanthanides and the actinides series are the F block. Then we also have the D block and the P block. Okay, so these are the different groupings of the elements in the periodic table. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so again, whenever you're going to study the periodic table, you just have to consider the four things. We have the symbol, trends, arrangement of elements, and the groupings of the elements in the periodic table. Okay, so I think that's it for today. I hope you've learned something. 
Thank you for watching. This is Miss Ines. Ang Pintanan. God bless you. Bye-bye. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button below so that you will be notified for new videos. Bye-bye. God bless you.